Hello my dear students, I am Rajita Sudhir here with you. We have finished 4 introduction part based on our first exercise. So today we are starting with our first exercise. So our first question is in triangle ABC, AB is equal to 24 centimeter and BC is equal to 7 centimeter. You have to find sine A, cos A and second question is sin C, cos C. So, I will repeat the question. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to 24 centimeter and BC is equal to 7 centimeter. There are two sub questions in this question. So, first part of this question is sin A cos A and second part of this question is sin C cos C. So, let us see how it will be. So, we have finished four introduction part based on this chapter. So, if you are new to my channel, please watch my previous videos, then only it will be really easy for you. I will give the link in my description box. So, let us start with our first question. We have learned two tricks for solving trigonometric ratios. So, now I am using Sokka Tova. So, which one is easy for you that you can opt? So, here Sokka means you know that Sokka Tova. So, S means sin opposite to hypotenuse cos adjacent to hypotenuse and tan opposite to adjacent. So, in this question we need only sin and cos. So, first we can start what is sin A. While solving the answers you should be very careful for reference angle because I already said in this question there are two sub questions. In first question reference angle is A and second question reference angle is C. So, do not confuse with the reference angle. If you make mistake in choosing reference angle, your answer will be wrong. So, we can start with our question. What is sin A? You know that sin means opposite to hypotenuse. So, sin A is equal to opposite to angle A by hypotenuse. Before starting this one, we have to check our triangle is completed or not. So, in this triangle you can see there are two sides given but one side is missing. So, how we can solve this one? So, now we can do what is AC here? You know that AC is the hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse means the longest side of the right angle triangle. So, we can find AC square is equal to what is the formula for hypotenuse square? Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. So, what is hypotenuse here? AC square. So, AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square. So, what is BC here? 7 square and AB is 24 square. 7 square means 7 into 7 that is 49 plus 24 square means 24 into 24 that is 576. 49 plus 576 is 625. So, AC square is equal to 625, AC is equal to square root of 625 that is 25. So, we found the value for hypotenuse that is 25. So, let us continue with our question. So, opposite to angle A. So, here you can see side opposite to angle A that is BC. So, BC is opposite to angle A. And what is hypotenuse here? AC is the hypotenuse. So, measurement of hypotenuse is 25. So, let us solve. What is BC? What is the measurement of BC is 7 and AC is 25. So, we found the value for sin A. Next, we can find what is cos A. Cos A means adjacent to hypotenuse. So, you know that adjacent means side which contains Reference angle and the 90 degrees. So, which one is adjacent here? AB adjacent to angle A by hypotenuse. So, adjacent means side which contain reference angle and 90 degree that is AB and hypotenuse is AC. So, we can substitute the value. What is AB here? 24 and AC is 25. So, we got the value for sin A and cos A. Sin A is 7 by 25 and cos A is equal to 24 by 25. So, let us do our second part of this question that is sin C and cos C. So, let us start with our second question sin C cos C. I 
as I said before while choosing the reference angle you should be very careful in first question reference angle was A but in this question reference angle is C I am drawing another triangle for avoiding confusion so AB is equal to 24 and BC is equal to 7 and AC is equal to 25 so now we can solve our question so what is sine side opposite to angle C don't write side opposite to angle A that was in our first question this is sine C so side opposite to angle C by hypotenuse so what is side opposite to angle C AB is opposite to angle C and hypotenuse is AC so what is AB here 24 and AC is 25 so we got the value for sin C that is 24 by 25 so let's do cos C so what is cos adjacent to hypotenuse so what is the meaning of adjacent in trigonometry the side which contains reference angle and the 90 degrees so which one is adjacent here here you can see bc contains reference angle and 90 degrees so our adjacent side is bc and hypotenuse is ac so BC is equal to 7 and AC is equal to 25. So we got the answer for sin C and cos C. I hope you understood first question of exercise 8.1. So let's start with our second question. In figure 8.13, you have to find tan P minus cot R. So here you can see the triangle. In triangle PQR, right angle at Q, PQ is equal to 12 centimeter and PR is equal to 13 centimeter. You have to find tan P minus cot R. So here you can see we have to find the third side of this triangle because it has given only two sides. So by Pythagoras theorem we can find this side. So by which side we have to find QR. So QR square is equal to. So what is the formula for finding base square? Base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus height square so we have to find what is qr square what is the formula for qr square hypotenuse square minus height square so what is hypotenuse here pr square minus what is height here pq so pq square so what is the measurement of pr square so pr is 13 so pr square is 13 square and what is pq 12 so pq square is 12 square 13 square is 13 into 13 that is 169 and 12 square is 12 into 12 that is 144. So 169 minus 144 is 25. So QR square is equal to 25. So QR is equal to square root of 25 that is 5. So we got the value for base that is 5. So let's start with our question. So first we can find tan P and second we can find cot R. We are using Sokatova trick here. So here you can see what is sine opposite to hypotenuse cos is adjacent to hypotenuse but in this question we need only tan and cot. So what is tan here opposite to adjacent side opposite to angle P and side adjacent to angle P. We had to find two trigonometric ratios. In first part of this question our reference angle is P. In second part of our question our reference angle is R. So you should be very careful. So first, uh, first part of our question is tan P side opposite to angle P divided by side adjacent to angle P. So now we can find so this is our reference angle. QR is opposite to angle P and side adjacent to angle P means side contains 90 degree and the reference angle. So here you can see this is reference angle and this one is 90 degree that means adjacent side is PQ. 
So, what is the value for QR? QR is 5 and PQ is 12. So, we got first part of this question. So, second part of this question is Cotar. We have already discussed all the trigonometric ratios in my previous videos. If you are new to my channel, please watch that videos. Then only it will be really easy for you. So, now I am telling you know that tan we got 5 by 12. Actually, what is cot? You know that cot is the reverse of tan or cot is the reciprocal of tan. So, what we can write here? So, what is the formula for cot? Reciprocal of tan means side adjacent to angle R divided by side opposite to angle R. Why I chose here R? You know that in second part of this question, our reference angle is different. This is why I wrote angle R. Don't confuse. So, now let's start with our question. So, side adjacent to angle R. So, I am not solving this question using this triangle. I am drawing another triangle. So, here PQ is equal to 12 and QR is equal to 5 and PR is equal to 13. So, opposite to, so here this is my reference angle. So, adjacent to angle R. So, you know that adjacent means side which contains 90 degree and the reference angle. So, QR is the adjacent side. So, QR is the adjacent side and what is opposite side? So, this is the opposite side. So, PQ is the opposite side. So, what is the measurement of QR? 5 and what is the measurement of PQ? 12. So, let us solve our question. So, our question is tan P minus cot R. That is, what is the value for tan P? 5 by 12. And what is the value for cot R? 5 by 12. So, you know that 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12 is 0. So, we got the answer for second question. So, I hope you understood. So, in this question, there are two reference angles. So, while solving this question, very careful, you will get confused. So, for first part of this question, you can draw one triangle and second part of this question, you can draw another triangle. At time, you can score full mark for this question. If you follow my teaching, please like, share and subscribe and put valuable comments in the comment box.